how are you? <sighs> Good? Oh, a lot lower. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get someone to move the chair up. Um, Must be Austin's chair. Hey! <laughs> Starting Man. already and he's not even here. I love it. Um, enjoying your time over here? Oh, absolutely loving it. Uh, loving it so much that uh, walking uh, on the beach at uh, Bournemouth, my, my two sons turn around to me and go, Dad, can you go home and get the two dogs? I said, oh. why is that? And he goes, oh, no, we want to live here. So, yeah. Oh. Did you think about it? I uh, did more than think about it. My wife's busy looking. Really? <laughs> Brilliant. 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 She's she got to trust you with the packing. Yeah. Well, you know. Let's, oh, just, um, get, let's just get just it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, over here enjoying, but doing a bit of business as well? What are you, what are you up to while you're no, over here? No, definitely. Uh, doing a bit of business. Uh, I'm the ambassador for MasterCard. So, yeah, it's... Uh, you know, uh, time's pretty busy. I've been here by that... By the World Cup final, I'll be here uh, just over three months. So, yeah, uh, I've enjoyed it. The, the people have been so hospitable. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't understand, uh, you know, you, you run over some English players and then next thing you know, you, you know they still like you. <laughs> so I, I feel safe in that sense. But, no, but in, in, in all uh, true sense of the word, they've been uh, fantastic hosts for this Rugby World Cup. They've been absolutely amazing. They've made it priceless for myself and my family, uh, you know. And these guys here, you know, I'm 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 happy to see, you know, uh, great legends of the game, guys who have uh, made World Cups uh, what it is today. And um, you know, for me, uh, it's just an honour to be around all these people. And uh, but the fans have made it, you know, what the World Cup is. It's an absolute honour to have you here today, as well, we are, isn't it, guys? We are honoured to have you. Um, you uh, you mentioned, you mentioned the World Cup in 1995. Thank you for squeezing a bit of lemon juice onto that particular paper cut. Um, I, this is actually the closest I've ever got to you, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> <laughs> I count myself as one of the England players you didn't run over. That's because I was hiding at the time. Um, we're going to be discussing this more and more, and later on we may well recreate one of the, the first try. Um, what do you remember? of that try. I mean, we've got some of the images that may come up now, and it was really, really quite worrying what you did to that England team. What, what do you remember? I, mean, I would imagine people have asked you that question again and again and again over these last three months. <laughs> I think the, the thing about that, um, that game, I remember I had no TV, no newspaper delivered to my room. Um, security was on our floor. That just didn't let anyone on there. Um, it was almost like um, uh, I was caged and just let loose uh, on the weekend. You know, it was, uh, it was funny too, because uh, my, my roommate was Frank Bunce, and uh, you know, preparing for that game, all I know is that they just kept feeding me the bits and pieces that were said, and that they knew that would fire me up, which was basically, um, I remember there was a piece in the, uh, in the Cape paper, which was, uh, heading was, Tony Underwood says that Jonah Lormu hasn't played anyone with uh, my caliber of speed, and you know I know, I know Tony really well. It's something that I, I feel that he wouldn't have, but because of what it was and everything else, and how um, things sort of happened, uh, especially with the, the the discipline that we had with the team, was they put my bag, my tackle bag, the furthest away. So that made me even like, yeah, it, anybody made a mistake in the team, I had to run the furthest to go and tackle the bag, <laughs> come back. No, no, go out, you know. So by the time game came around, the game came around, I ended up lining up, and as you're preparing to do the hucker, you pick up the person, you know, you find someone, whoever stares at you, you just stay locked eye contact, and it just happened to be Tony. And but the problem was that he gave me that one, and you know, and it was him just acknowledging that he accepts the challenge, and he's always admired it. But for me, at that time, my thing was, yeah, you wink, yeah, you have accepted the challenge, but I'm going to wipe that wink off your face. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. Which is, which is why I really like lining up against him, because he doesn't look quite as scary as that. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and at this very moment, my cat is phoning Tony Underwood going, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> that explains everything.